Who are we? One team. One team. One team. One team. One team. One team. This is Arnold and Kaden. They are both members of PADS, a championship dragon boat team of persons with disability athletes. And they will be joining a tournament where the odds are stacked against them in a sport where Filipinos were known to be one of the best during the times of our ancestors. Say hi, I'm Arnold M. Balais. I'm right above the knee amputee, a former para-athlete, powerlifting and swimming. And presently, I'm the team captain of PADS Dragon Boat Racing Team. PADS is Philippine Accessible Disab Disability Services. Hi, my name is Karen Rosarcal. I'm a mother. I used to be a nurse, but I was forced to stop due to my illness. And I'm a member of PADS. And I'll be joining the upcoming uh, Para ASEAN Games for qualifiers for VA and Kanu. Both of them were living a very active and normal life until a tragic event changed their lives. I lost my right leg when I was 15 years old due to bone infection. While playing basketball, I had a bad injury on my right leg and I consider it as my lowest point of my life. I was diagnosed with a rare illness called transverse myelitis which affected my spine. Karen will be competing for the first time while Arnold, also known as Captain A, has already won many tournaments with their team, both local and international, and have been praised by the Philippine government and President Duterte himself for the accomplishments and for what they stand for when it comes to helping the Filipino PWD community. Arnold and Karen is invited to represent the country for the ACC Second Asian Para Canoe Championship and qualifier for the fourth Asian Para Games to be held in Hangzhou, China this October 2022. This will be the very first time that Filipinos are going to be representing our country in a sport that we are known to be the best in our long culture and history, paddling. Buzzy Budlong an expert paddler and one who is very familiar with the Filipino oceanic culture will coach the team for this historic event for the Filipinos. Aloha, my name is Bazi Budlong and I am the title holder and the guy who paddled the whole land of the Philippines and I am the president of Philippine or Trigger Canoe Club and Island Bass Philippines. This is very important for us Filipinos because we are an outrigger canoe people. With a short time, uh, we were able to practice because I have this canoe with me for almost 20 years right now. In the Philippines, this is the only single outrigger canoe with this kind of design, uh, a racing design. But outrigger canoe is part of us already and there are a lot of Filipinos in some areas of Visayas that are using single outrigger canoe in the riverside, in the deltas. For us Visayan and Filipinos, in general, uh, we are an outrigger people. If you look around, we are a trimaran people. Maraming nagsasaguan ng baruto o bangka. No? So, isang bangka tayo dito. Uh, it's already part of our blood. We, uh, so, this is very important for us to bring back the, the sports tourism into this uh, movement. No? So we live in a, an island surrounded by a beautiful body of waters and beautiful beaches. So once we are going to bring back the paddling culture here in Cebu, we're going to rise above and move forward fast. Since the event is not dragon boat paddling, this is an entirely different and new experience and sport for Arnold and Karen. They will have to adapt to the crafts they are unfamiliar with in a very short time and this is only the start of the challenges they are facing. Ang advantage namin, we, we train always, we, we train every day sa dragon boat. And of course, struggle gihapon sa, sa canoe, canoe kasi bago rin sa amin to. Uh, it so happened na uh, available siya dito sa Cebu no? uh, with the help of Basi, of uh, Island Bass. I think siya lang yung may ganitong mga equipments na sa likod natin at iba pang ginagamit namin. We're very thankful na may ganito. National Paralympic Committee 
is also very happy na merong tao no kami na nag nag-start nito on our own yung sinasabi ng struggle namin ngayon kasi it's too close na hindi na makaka-support yung yung Philippine Sports Commission no kasi ang rule nila ang rules sa uh, sports is two months before dapat nag-send kayo ng request nyo uh, it's just so happen malapit kasi yung yung dumating sa amin yung invitation too close na so hindi na aabot sa two months uh, but uh, kailangan eh kailangan puntahan talaga yung qualifier so even on our own na lang talaga to uh, on our own expense na to siya kanya-kanya na kaming gastos on our airfare the accommodation the registration dun sa sa Thailand well first challenge was like it was a short notice we had it last week of January and and uh, the competition will start by February 18 yes and the second one is of course the finances um, we need to use our own money for like the gas, the transportation, of course the food and everything. And um, uh, the, the third one is that um, we, I, I need to travel all the way from Talisay to Danao every, every, every practice. I have to wake up at 3.30 in the morning and have to drive from Talisay to Danao, so that's the distance. And uh, because we only have this sports equipment in Danao, and it's very limited, uh, it's because it's not really common yet. Despite the odds and challenges Arnold and Karen is facing, they're still going to go through with the tournament and try their best to win. Not only for the glory, but for their causes, messages, and the revival of this historical part of the Filipino culture paddling and sailing which is almost forgotten already it will raise awareness to the PWD community it will encourage a lot of people I think not only the PWD community but also the able people the team is going to be carrying our country and our history on their backs but they will also need your help hi everyone uh, please support us in our journey this coming February 18 to 21, the uh, Paracanu uh, qualifier for the 2022 Asian uh, Paragames. Also support the Outrigger Canoe Revival. If you want to give a helping hand to Arnold and Karen, please click on the GoFundMe link in the video description. Laban Pilipinas, Laban Arnold at Karen. Salamat po and mabuhay tayong lahat. Bye!